Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here, and I am so excited to finally bring to you my Disneyland Run Disney Trip um, budget and where that money's gonna go and where it's gonna come from. So, as you guys already know, I have fully funded my trip to um, Walt Disney World for the Dopey Challenge. I will link in the description box below the video when I announced that I had finally fully completed that, which was my goal for this whole year. And now I have two more Disney trips in the works that we're going to talk about now. So the very next weekend after the Dopey Race, I'm going to go to Disneyland in California and I'm going to participate in the Star Wars Rebel Challenge during the light side weekend. This will include the 10K and the half marathon and it will count for my coast to coast medal since I will have just done the races in Walt Disney World and then I'll be doing these races in Disneyland. And then I'm going to do another trip in April, uh, the dark side challenge in Walt Disney World, which will give me, I think it's called the Kessel or Kessler Challenge, uh, another Star Wars medal for completing both Star Wars races. So what we're gonna talk about right now is the light side race that I'm going to participate the weekend after. I'm going to go with my sister. She's going to do the 10K with me. It'll just be the two of us. And things are a little bit different, like we're not driving <laughs> to California. Well, that would be a wonderful adventure and I'd love to do that again. I did it as a child. Um, I'm looking forward to flying this time. So um, we are going to fly Southwest and sadly the tickets have gone up a little bit. I should have bought them the other day, but I'm budgeting right now $400. I just looked today and they're 388 for a round trip fare. A week or so ago, they were 325. So somewhere around there, We'll get them. I'll let you know what that is. We're going to stay at the Candy Cane Inn, which is a Disneyland Good Neighbor Resort. And I have heard so much about it on podcasts and on the Diz boards and other places that this is an excellent resort. It does include a hot continental breakfast in the price, which is a big plus because we can eat before we go to the parks. It's open early to pretty late. So even if I don't want to eat till after a race, I'll have time to do that at the hotel. So to me, that gives me more bang for my buck if it includes some food. So I'm really excited about that. Then um, that's going to be for the two of us for three nights, uh, $594. Um, and I made it my part of the deal that I would pay for the hotel room as long as my sister paid for her own other things, race fee, flight, that kind of stuff. So then I'm budgeting $500 for food and souvenirs, which I think is really probably going to be way too much, but I'd rather budget too much and have money for later than to not have budgeted enough and be like, oh, I can't buy this thing that I really, really want. Um, I'm also going to budget about $106 for miscellaneous, including uh, an Uber or a taxi. Okay, so that total is $1,600. Now, I have already paid my race entry fee, which was $351.78. Um, I've had that in the description box below for a while now since I already paid that. So you could say that this trip is going to cost $1,952, um, but what about tickets? I didn't say, how am I going to get into the park and have fun? Well, I have thought a lot about this, and I have decided that I'm going to get for myself the Premier Passport, which allows me to have access to both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. It allows me to have room discounts, which is included in that um, Candyland, uh, Candy Cane Inn price. They do accept um, an annual pass discount. Uh, it will give me discounts on some of our dining, on our purchases for things, and it also includes the Disney photo pass for the Run Disney event, and that was a big thing for me. So um, I'm doing that, and I've also decided that for the second race in April that I was originally going to bring my children on, it will be my very best friend, Lita, and I, our 20-year celebration of our friendship. And so it's just going to be a girl's trip, just the two of us. So I have decided instead to get this premier passport for myself and purchase my mother-in-law and my two children five-day park hopper passes which gives us a little bit of room in case we'd like to go somewhere in the morning and somewhere else in the evening um, that we can do that I do still think that five days is plenty of park time because we're going to be spending um, one day just resort hopping and another day um, going to around places I used to live in Orlando with my father um, that 
five days is plenty, but I will upgrade us to the park pass. So including myself getting the premier passport and those three five day park hopper passes, it's only an $86 and 36 cents difference, a little bit more than um, my budget already allowed. So even including that difference and the $1,600 that I've budgeted for this Disneyland trip, which I think is going to be a little more than I need based on the food and um, souvenir prices, but better more than less. Um, and all of the money that I have saved up so far, including this week's $60, I had $30 in metal recycling between cans and some old aluminum gutters and um, what else did I turn in? Oh, I dug through my grandmother's burn pile and found a whole bunch of stuff. That was only $4. Oh, and my refrigerator, my old refrigerator that we um, had replaced. We had hoped to keep it, but it didn't survive the move into the garage. And how $30 from that. And I had a $15 Visa gift card and a $15 um, Family Dollar gift card that you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I won a $15 family gift card as part of the Nick Tastic sweepstakes. Um, it was like a consolation prize, but still I used it to go towards my children's school supplies and took that $15 out of my school budget to um, pay for that and pay myself back. So anyways, so we've got, you know, what did I have? I had $2,011 and some change. So now $2,071 and some change that I'm projected to be over budget for the first trip, right? So now we're saying, okay, you need $1,600 and $1,686 and 36 cents to make up the difference in the um, passes. And as well as the um, trip to Disneyland, I still have $385.02 to go towards my April trip. So here's my $15 Visa gift card that I got. This was from a PNG rebate. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And then here's my family dollar gift card. I've already spent that, but I keep a hold of these little gift card things um, and the notifications for my sweepstakes wins just so that I can be like, hey, see, I won this. <laughs> it's just a, a silly little thing, really. So Walt Disney World Marathon weekend trip paid for. And the... Um, Disneyland uh, light side weekend pretty much paid for. You know, I have um, so much money in cash right now, and then I have these um, monthly savings that are projected that I have been paying um, to get me out through the rest of the year. So that trip is essentially paid for. And then now we're just going to have the second Walt Disney World trip to pay for. It will probably cost me comparable to what I'm paying for this trip. Uh, they have room rates available, but I don't have flight rates available yet. They'll probably be comparable, but we'll just have to see. I think you could probably get to Orlando a little bit cheaper than I can get to California. So once I have those details um, ironed out, I will give you guys an update on that trip as well. But for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank Dawn and and Brian, Dawn and Brian, for joining my Ibotta team. If you guys haven't already, if you didn't know, in my description box below, I have all of the apps and websites that I use to help me save money. And if you'd like to join my team or um, participate in these apps and you aren't already, please follow the links in the description box below and join my team. I do my best to explain in there what we get if you sign up with those. But I wanted to thank again Dawn and Benjamin for joining my Ibotta team. I haven't cashed out on that in a while. I'm doing that kind of intentionally. I do have over $100 in there that's not currently included in the budget. So one day when I need it later on, um, I will put that in there. But anyways, thanks again so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you guys again next week. And until then, well, I'll see you real soon.